Hey guys, so this week's video is a short one. One of the problems um, I'm always uh, fighting with is uh, the continuous uh, depletion of my hard disk space because of the multiple NPM installs I run on uh, a lot of the projects I set up on my computer. So the first thing I always do is try to delete node modules folders. So I always do this on the terminal, right? I run a command like this. So this command finds all node modules folders and then just calculates their size here so if we run this we'll get uh, a list of all the node modules uh, in my computer not all but like the root node module folders so as you can see the node modules are occupying lots of space you, you have 400 mbs 160 mbs you even have one here that occupies 1.3 gigabytes and another one 2.7 gigabytes a lot of uh, projects are taking lots of space here so one way to clear all these folders is uh to just delete them right just run that command and then pipe it to a remove uh, command like this so when you run it all those folders are deleted right but most of the time this is not what you want to do you also have folders that you want to be kept and uh, there are folders that are going to be used by, say, VS Code that you don't want to get rid of, especially when you're running this at the root of your home folder, right? So one thing you could do is uh, clear the NPM or YARN cache folders. So if you look at the list of folders here, there's a uh, .cache folder here for YARN. I'm not sure the cache folder for npm but uh what you can do is the first thing is to clear the yarn cache so you can run yarn cache clean so this deletes uh all the packages that yarn has cached to make installs faster so this will save a lot of disk space so that has cleared a bit of our space you can also do the same thing with npm so npm cache uh, is it cache or cache i keep on alternating between the two pronunciations so you'll forgive me that so it's npm cache uh, clean and with npm you need to actually pass force to it so that it cleans everything by force so like that so this clears the cache but doesn't actually delete the node modules folders that you have in your projects so there's a cleaner method that you can also use and that is using the np kill package so you run npx uh, np kill which will download and launch that package which gives you a nice view of all your node modules for does all the space they are occupying and also allows you to clear them one by one so personally i like this way the best because i have a visual interface where i can browse through all the node modules and i can choose which folders to leave and which folder to delete so i can say i want to start with this first folder here that is occupying 118 megabytes and then select this for deletion i say this i want to select this for deletion i want to select this for deletion so you can just select folders as you browse through them and choose whatever you want to delete so let me select uh, a couple of more folders that i can save at least uh, one gigabyte of storage so let's choose this one can get rid of this one so as i select the folders it tells me here the space that i've saved by deleting that folder so once that is done i can just quit the np kill and i'll have saved 4 gb of storage so that is all i wanted to talk about if you need a way to mass delete node module folders in your app then Please try and pick in. It's really cool. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.